What benefits does a homeowner get from a regular furnace service? Well, a regular furnace tune-up not only keeps your warranty up to date with your manufacturer, but it also helps you keep peace of mind getting into the winter that your furnace is going to be performing how it should, right? The last thing you want to do is go on your ski trip and then come back and find out that your furnace actually shut off because it has a dirty or it needs a replaced flame sensor and your pipes froze and your home is freezing after you left for a couple of days, right? So you want to make sure that you have all those components in the furnace working properly and your gas pressures are actually balanced how they should be. So in those very cold nights and very cold days, your furnace is working properly. So tell me more about this warranty requirements. Specifically, do different carriers or manufacturers have a different requirement for how many times per year? Or what do people usually have to do to stay within that warranty? Yeah, so you got to keep in mind that these furnaces and ACs, they need to be maintained, right? And the recommendation is to do it once a year. You have components between airflow and debris that can go through, and then you have your gas and your flames that go through your heat exchangers on furnaces that need to be monitored, right? So from a manufacturer's perspective, if they're going to give you a warranty, they want to make sure that you're actually getting it made, that you're getting that unit maintained. So if something fails, it's not at the fault of not having that unit well cleaned and the components replaced and maintained. It just comes down to their parts actually failing. So, yes, manufacturers require for you to have routine maintenance on your units to keep your warranty current. Okay. And so do different types of furnaces have different maintenance schedules? So, for example, I have oil, natural gas, a boiler furnace, and propane. Can I remove any of those from this list here that we'll go into just to discuss each one no they all yeah each of those will need to have at least a yearly maintenance right you have different type of furnaces like a single stage or two stage or a high efficiency to a non-high efficiency furnace and the components tend to change on those one by one but each of them still need to be maintained which one of those types of furnaces are most common in your area well, we see them here. We pretty much see all kinds, right? You have your high efficiency or your non-high efficiency furnaces. You also have radiant heat systems like boilers. And uh, you also see heat pumps, which in some areas here in Colorado aren't fully recommended, but you also see them quite a bit. And when you guys install, what, what, what type of uh, furnaces do you guys install the most of? Well, it really depends on what the customer wants, but we offer pretty much every kind of furnace and heating system that's out there, right? So we have anything from basic efficiency all the way to high efficiency furnaces and boiler systems, radiant heat. And also you can get into a heat pump type mini split system or a whole home heat pump system. We offer all of those. So let's walk through the items that you would do to service a furnace for, for winter. Can you tell me just a bit about the blower compartment? Yeah, so on the blower, you really want to make sure that you clean any debris that you can see. Sometimes it entails pulling out the blower and cleaning it out thoroughly and then putting it back in so you don't have that buildup that you can't reach without taking it out. You want to make sure that your heat exchangers are cleaned as well. You also want to search and inspect that you don't have any cracks in your heat exchanger that can be causing your furnace to not even work properly. Your flame sensor is recommended to be changed every one to two years. Sometimes you can get away with just cleaning it and and usually it has a lifespan, maybe about up to two years. If it's well maintained, maybe a little bit longer. You wanna make sure that your gas igniter is working properly as well. And, uh, and from there, your inducer motor needs to also be checked. Make sure that all oils are all balanced and your gases are all balanced. That way you know that your furnace will work properly. And those items that you just listed, are those things that people can do on their own, their own? And if so, what is the benefit of calling a company like yours? Well, a basic maintenance, routine maintenance that a customer can do is changing out their filters and making sure that their airflow and the vents are clean so not so so they don't have access to debris going in to to their furnace. When they call in a professional, we're actually able to actually dig deeper into into the components 
and make sure and check check, check the amp draws on motors and make sure that the igniter and heat exchanger is working properly and is cleaned. The homeowner at the end of the day can make sure that the debris going into the unit by changing out the filter is to a minimum and also through their return vents in their home. Cleaning those out is important, making sure that you're up to date with your filter changes. And so how long does a furnace service appointment usually take? It can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Depends on how thorough we have to clean the furnace and what problems we encounter as we're diagnosing and opening up the inside of those furnaces. So what's the going rate at Smith Pink Trucks for a precision tune-up for the winter service? Our precision tune-up runs at 129. That varies throughout season and pre-seasonal promotions that we have. They can come down all the way to about $59.